Hello all you awesome people out there, my name is Takiro and welcome to this gamer tech lock thing. Um, it's a thing that's going around on the internet, um, in the gaming community with us smaller YouTubers at the moment. And I have been tagged by Video Gaming Asian. You can click the annotation or the link in the description and check him out. He makes some awesome stuff, so please go check him out. Um, but yeah, this is um, contained of 21 questions and in the end I will tag some other people that have to do this thing. So if they don't have already done it, I actually have no idea who has done this before. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> I, I hope I don't um, tag someone who has done it already, but we will see that at the end. So but yeah, I will answer 21 questions about my gaming history. So I hope you will enjoy this. So. With no further ado, let's um, continue this. Oh, actually, let's start this. This must be instead. So... Question number one. What is your all-time favorite video game? Actually, I have... No favorite video game! Wait... Um, I was reading the questions um, before I started this and... I really tried to come up with a favorite video game, but I... Can't really come up with any favorite video game because... I love playing so many different games, and yeah, maybe I have a favorite video game at the time, but my favorite video game keep changing. So, and sometimes I go back and play some other older games, but an all-time favorite I really don't have because I love so many different kind of games. Like, I love RPG games, and maybe I can find a favorite from that category. But then I go to uh, racing games and find another favorite game, and. Shooting games, there is only one favorite game because that's a Splatoon, but yeah, I, I can't go and say that is my all-time favorite game because I love so many different games. So yeah, I don't have any. Question number two. What is your current favorite video game? So as I said, um, I actually have a favorite video game at the time, uh, which is Elder Scrolls Online because that's actually the game I use the most time on at the moment uh, because I have some friends I'm playing it with when they have the time for it. God dang it people, get the time. But um, yeah, but um, I really enjoy playing that game, so... And also I'm a big Elder School fan, so... Elder School Online is just a good game for me. So yeah, Elder School Online is my current favorite game, but it'll probably change soon because there's coming some amazing games soon. So yeah, but um, that is that. Question number three. What is your favorite video game genre? So my favorite video game genre, I actually said it a little in the first question, but my favorite genre is um, RPG or JRPG, what you prefer. But um, I really love RPG games, and the reason for that is I love games that has a lot of story. Um, and yeah, you get what you want in those categories because we have the Final Fantasy series, we have Grandia. We have the Tail of series, we have so many freaking games. Hyper Dimension Neptunia, which I actually played on my channel. We have Fairy Fencer F. There's a lot of games in that category, and I really love Star Wars games. So, RPG games is my favorite choice here. Question number four How long have you been playing video games? So, how long have I been playing video games? Actually, Many people will say as long as they can remember. Actually, I can remember when I started playing video games, and that was at the age of four. Because at the age of four, for Christmas, I got my first console, and I have never played video games before that. So <laughs> I know that when I started playing video games. What was the first game you ever played? Question number five. Uh, so the first game I ever played. It's hard to remember what the first game you ever played was, but I'm pretty sure because with the console that I got um, at age of four, uh, I got, I think it was two or three games. And the first game I popped into my console at that time, I think was Robocop. So that must be the first game I played. I'm pretty sure that was the first game. So because the other game I got there was a, that was a game where there was four mini games things on um, so that was not the first one I would choose because I would choose things that were names that says uh, that I know and 
that was what I popped in. And the other one was a racing game, and I'm not that much into racing games um, at that time, so that was more like for my brother, I think. But even even though that it was my console, but yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm pretty sure that Robocop was the first game I played. What game have you clocked the most hours into? And that is question number 6. Uh, the game that I plucked the most hours into, I am pretty sure that that is Final Fantasy X, uh, because I have a save file on that game uh, that clocks in at more than 350 hours. Um, and then there are the other save files that I have that is like 20 hours and 30 hours and such. But I'm pretty sure that's the game I've played most uh, in hours. Um, it could also be Minecraft, uh, but there's no timing thing in Minecraft, so I have no idea how many hours I've played that. But since I don't have a clock on that, I will go for Final Fantasy uh, 10. What? Question number 7. What is the longest gaming session? So my longest gaming session is 72 hours straight. Um, I got this game Brandia. Um, and I got it on Friday, so I had Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and some days after that because of holidays and stuff. But um, yeah, I got Grandia, and it's a two-disc game for the Super, Ni not Super Nintendo, the PlayStation. God dang it, uh, I'm a Nintendo fanboy, and sometimes mess things up. But yeah, I got it for the PlayStation, and it's a two-disc game, as I said. Um, it took roughly 30 hours, 30 or 40 hours to complete. That's what my save file says, but. Since I died a lot and had to retrack and stuff like that, and because I have a tendency to forgot to save, it clocked in at 72 hours and I didn't sleep or anything in between. The only thing I did was eat and go to the bathroom because I am human. <laughs> I have to eat and do things in the bathroom, but yeah, I played that for 3 days. And after that I took to a LAN party and got to 75 hours, I think, and then they decided that I had to go to bed because I couldn't perform a sentence at all. I was just mumbling weird random stuff and stuff, so that was maybe a good idea because it's not safe to stay up that long, so <laughs> stupid of me. <laughs> Question number 8. Who is your favorite game developer? So my favorite game developer, um, I would go for Square Enix because they have made most of the games that I like. Like Final Fantasy, they have made uh, uh, what's called uh, Life is Strange because I actually enjoyed that game a lot. Uh, they have made their. They have made so many games and now I can't remember the name, something. God dang it. Uh, but yeah, as Final Fantasy, as I said, they have made. They have made other games. What they call? I can't really remember their names. Kingdom Hearts, of course. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, and a lot of other games that I really enjoy, so I will go with Square Enix because they have the most games that I like. Yeah. Question number 9. Who is your favorite hero character from a game? So my favorite hero character... I was using a lot of time to think of this, but... I was about to go for some run from Kingdom Hearts uh, Riku, because I really enjoyed that character. Um, but... No, I actually go with Link from um, the Zelda series because in every incarnation of him, there's something different about him, so everyone has a personal Link that they like the most. Uh, my favorite Link is actually the Link from the... Um, I have to remember... Uh, the Wind Waker timeline, uh, the cartoony Link, because there's something about him that I <laughs> really enjoy, so I would go for him like being my favorite hero character. Question number 10. Who is your favorite villain? So, ooh, my favorite villain. Uh, this is hard. Um, because one of my favorite characters, uh, but I haven't completed the game yet, so I don't know if the character actually is a villain or not a villain. Uh, I have a hard time to figure that out. But um, that character is um, uh, Lumina from um, Final Fantasy. No, Lightning Returns Final Fantasy XIII. But I don't know if she is a villain or not, so I will not take her, even though she is one of my favorite characters <laughs> in generally. 
Uh, but my favorite villain else will be Sher Gorath from the Elder Scrolls series because I really love him. He's so amazingly made. Like he's just crazy and and all his character is just how crazy can things be? So th that is fantastic and yeah, I I really enjoyed him also um, both in um, uh, Skyrim and in the Elder Scrolls Online. Um, I really have to go back and play some of the other games because I don't know if he's in these games actually, but I know those two he is and just in those two games he's high on my list because of them, so Sheryl go for now, but he will probably change later on. Question number 11. Who is your most hated character of any game? So this one is kind of a hard question I think. No, actually, it's not that hard. My hated, most hated character is Navi from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Because that fairy is so freaking annoying. I know how to play the game and they should just have the ability to turn her off. I, I hate her, really. I, and I know a lot of people do that. I also hate her, so. But, ah, uh, I could kill that fairy. Question number 12. What gaming system do you own? Well, at the time now, I own a PSP, uh, a PS2, PS3, Wii, Wii U, DS, 3DS, Game Boy Advance, and I will count my PC as a console also because I play games on it, so <laughs> it's a console for me. Um, I have had a lot of other consoles, but sadly I lost some of them because when I was younger I had to sell the consoles before I may get a new one, because my parents just would like that. And, <laughs> no, they're not stupid, they just not understand why I would keep my consoles, so, but I miss some of the consoles now. And other consoles got stolen when um, we had a burglary, burglar, burg there were some people that wanted my stuff and they broke into where my stuff was and took it. So I lost a lot of my consoles at that time, and I'm sad about it, of course. I can't get the consoles anymore. Also, I lost a lot of games. Like, I had all the Final Fantasy games from... Final, I think it was 6 or 7, and up till uh, for the PS1, uh, the Final Fantasy... I think 6 I had, but it was 7, 8 and 9 and stuff like that, and I had a ton of games that got stolen because of it, so... Yeah, but shit happens, so... Anyways! What was... Question number 13! What was your first gaming system? So, my first gaming system I got at the age of 4 for Christmas, and that was a Commodore 64, because that's an awesome thing! Um, I thoroughly enjoyed that, uh, sadly I don't have it anymore because it too got stolen in another break-in we had when I was younger. Um, so, I lost that too. God dang it, I have lost a lot of things. Question number 14. What is your favorite gaming system and why? So my favorite gaming system, I again will go for the PC. Um, I take it as a system because I play games on it. But um, the PC is my favorite gaming system because it's so much easier when I have to record stuff. <laughs> Actually just to record it on the PC and instead of having consoles, from the console to the PC and that. But um, also because there are a lot of games and there's so many possibilities when you're playing on the PC contra everything else because there are more chance to mod things, to do things in games and I, I probably like to play on the PC most of the time so even though consoles have good games like Mario Maker, Splatoon and Kingdom Hearts and stuff like that but most games come from every platform and if they do that I have a tendency to buy them for the PC because that's easier for me in any way so PC would be my favorite gaming console, the uh, gaming system. So yeah. Question number fifteen: Do you prefer to play guy characters or girl characters? So let me think hard about this one. I'd like to play girls. I need something nice to look at when I play games. Duh. Question number sixteen: Do you follow walkthroughs or do you play through on your own? So, I do not use uh, walkthroughs when I play games. Um, I like to play the games for my own. The first time, if I have completed the game, I have 
I can't think of using a walkthrough because there are always something you miss in the game, and I want everything out of the game. So I'm kind of a completionist when it comes to that. So I play the game for myself first until I complete, and then I will uh, consult a walkthrough to find everything that I missed during the game. Although I have a tendency to try to find everything in my first uh, playthrough, but um, I don't use play uh, walkthroughs at all um, unless I get horribly, horribly stuck in a game. Like, I have no idea what to do or anything and I just run in circles and can't find out anything. Then I might go for a walkthrough just to get on from the stop point. But else, I don't use walkthroughs at all. Question number 17. Have you ever been to a gaming convention? Uh, sadly no, I have not been to a gaming con uh, convention. Um, but I really want to go to PAX. Um, but it cost a lot for me because I live in Denmark and I have to get uh, a passport to go to the US to actually attend PAX and also it's PAX costs money to get into, I know that. Uh, I have to get a hotel to stay at and I have to get fly tickets to go to the country and stuff like that so that's a really expensive uh, trip to take but I really want to go to some of those conventions and meet up with the fellow YouTubers that I know uh, of the smaller one that also goes to them, but also to have a possibility to actually meet some of the bigger YouTubers that I look really up to, um, and hopefully just say hi to them and stuff like that because it it, it feels like something that I really want to do. I I'm not normally the person that look up to someone because people do what they love to do and. It's nice to see people that have fun with doing what they do, and most of the bigger YouTubers I actually know, they don't do it for the fame, it, they do it to make other people happy and stuff. So, but I still want to meet them and say, you changed my life to the better, or you helped me in some way, because um, there are some gamer YouTubers that have actually made my life change a lot, because they have kept me happy in times where I was down, and also, they are the reason why I actually do YouTube and do gaming videos now, so I really want to say thanks to them in some way if I can ever get the chance to do so. But again, I have a lack of money to go to those conventions yet, but someday, someday I will do whatever I can to go to some conventions in the future. <laughs> Question number 18. What game are you most excited for to come out in the future? So, in the future, there are really a lot of games actually. Um, in the near future, I will say uh, Ruby Grim Eclipse. We have gotten the uh, early access game of it, but I'm still looking forward to the full game because I'm a big Ruby fan. <laughs> People might have noticed that in some way or another, but yeah. Um, or else, Honeycamp Studio, I'm also really very, very much forward to. But those games in the, in, in the near future, because I think what I've heard of, they come next month or next month again. So there's only a month or two before we see them. In the longer terms, um, it must be Zelda for the Wii U and Kingdom Hearts 3, because I look so much forward to those games. I have been excited for them for so freaking long, so I really hope that they will come this year. Uh, Zelda Wii U actually comes this year. But Kingdom Hearts 3, no freaking idea, but I look so much forward to them. Question number 19. What's your best memory of a video game? So, my best memory of a video game... Actually, this goes outside of the video game also, because my best memory is um, Pokemon. I started playing Pokemon when I was young, <laughs> really young. Actually, I played it since it came out here in Europe in 1998, was when the Red and Blue came out, and I played it since. And at that time, I didn't have that many friends. And through Pokemon and the game, I learned a lot of people to know that I also played Pokemon, and I ended up playing the card game also. And that led me to start playing in the Pokemon League that there was here where I live. And through that I learned a lot of per persons. 
I learned a lot of people to know that played the same kind of games as me and love games and stuff like that and that's the reason why I am where I am today and know the people that I know today is because of Pokemon so that's a good memory of a video game I will say. Question number 20. What's your worst memory of a video game? So the worst memory I've had of a video game except for all the time that I raised a video game when I was younger because I was bad at them. Um, the worst memory I have is actually a recent one. Um, I bought Dreadout and I started playing it as a let's play on my channel. And I think that is the only game I have ever rage created in because I got so frustrated with it. Normally games I get frustrated and rage about them but I will still complete them. Dreadout was... I had not fun playing that game at all. And this is the first time I've never had fun playing a game. Uh, so... and I rage created it and I will not play it anymore so... That was... It's not worth the money to play it, to do it. I also consulted a walkthrough actually for the game and even though I consulted a walkthrough I could still not progress in the game so... I hate that game, I will never play it again. I wish I never had bought it, but sadly I did. That's the worst game ever. Period. I mean it. Don't buy it. It's a bad game. I've talked enough about that. On with the questions. Question number 21. Which video game character do you see yourself as? Or if you have to be represented, represented by a video game character, who would it be? So this one is again one of those really hard questions to answer because I don't see myself as a video game character unless it was me who was the video game character. Um, and I don't want anyone actually to represent me either because I can find a video game character that may be close to what I am but it's not me. So I actually have none. The closest I could come to a video game character that could represent me is in the RPGs or the Sims games where you can create your own character and play as yourself in some way. So if it has to be, then that has to be that. But else, I don't want a video game character to represent me because I am me, not a game character. That's how it is. So, but yeah, that was uh, the 21 questions and I now I have to tag someone. Oh, who do I want to tag? As I said, I have no idea who has done this, so if I name someone who already has done it, sorry about that. But I want Darklight Brothers to do it, I want Strawberry Pearl to do it, I want Hoishi Hana to do it, and I want Lazy Bum Gamer aka Abba to do it. Um, and everyone else that feels like doing this can also do it, so go and do it. <laughs> but um, yeah, you can see who is it down below. And also in the description you can see all the questions so you can just copy paste them so you can make your own video here so but um i hope you enjoyed my answers and i hope you enjoyed this video you can give it a thumb up if you did you can hit me up on facebook or twitter or write a comment down below you can subscribe for more awesome videos and i hope you all will have an awesome day so until next time farewell <laughs>